good morning youtube welcome back to my channel oh first i want to say i hope you guys are having a happy happy friday it is when i'm recording this video but whatever day of the week that you're watching i hope you're having a great day i want to say thank you for taking the time to subscribe to my channel please comment below things that you might want to see um today's video is how to make trim i have a lot of people asking me like where do you buy this from I don't buy it. I make trim. And what this is, is this is what goes around. Let me, let me show you. One second. This is the same thing that people use for fold over elastic. I just choose not to use fold over elastic. To me, I think trim is more sturdy. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I think it's more heavier. It makes the outfit way more and not flimsy. So I prefer to make my own trim. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make trim and how to stock up on it. If you go ahead and stock up on doing it, it cuts down your sewing process. Does that make sense? So normally people would just use, oh, wait a minute, let me go out. Bruno, can you move? Sorry, yeah, my puppy fell in the way. So what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to cut up. I have probably like 10 yards of this white, but I'm just going to cut up a lot of it for like, um, let's say like 10, 15 minutes. And then I'm going to show y'all how many strips we got out of that. And when I tell you this can be used for any outfits that you want to trim in white, and you won't have to worry about the process time. Because the process time is what, the prep time is what take the longest most of the time when you're making outfits. So if you go ahead and get like some Ziploc bags, you can go to Dollar Tree, get some Ziploc bags for a dollar. Or if they up the price in your area, a dollar twenty-five. Get the Ziploc bags. Go ahead and mark it white trim, black trim, red trim. You know, like you already have your trim done. So you can just grab and just put your outfit together after you cut your outfit out. So, if you have any other questions, comment below. If you need vendors on good pricing, like my pricing on my solid is $5. That's a great price. And most places is $15 to $29 for solid. Um, my designer is $12. My custom, to make custom fabric, spandex fabric, um, is $12 a yard as well. Um, my shear, the see-through shear, is $3 a yard. So I have a great vendor, you guys. I do not give my vendors away. The reason why I don't give them away is because, one, I either pay for them, or either, two, I went through trial and error of risking my money, hoping they're good. I lose money all the time, you guys, making, um, like, testing out different vendors to see which ones are good and which ones aren't to where I'm able to help my clients. So, what I'm doing is, I'm using two boxes on the board. So, one box, two box, and then I'm going up. If you don't want your trim that thick, you can go thinner. You can do your trim as thick or as thin as you want. But make sure you do it enough to fold twice. And if you have trouble keeping it steady, just get a ruler. You can get a ruler and place it right by it. A long ruler, I'll show y'all. I got one right here for some of my clients in my classes. I need to change my blade. And then we just do the same thing. And then we're going to bag it. It's simple. But it makes your sewing time way less because you don't have to worry about trimming. And it makes your product look more finished. Because if you just tuck it under... Well, everybody can do, you can do what, it's not no right and no wrong. 
know that it's no right and no wrong i just prefer to do this and a lot of people always ask me where do i get this from or if they could buy it from me you don't have to buy it from me i'm showing you exactly how to do it for free okay but if you do need anything i make custom patterns so any pictures you might have screenshotted in your phone that you might want to recreate you can send it to me and I make custom patterns for $25 a piece. I also have over 256 patterns. We also have a pattern book. We teach virtual and in-person classes. If you're totally new to this business period, I help with that too. We'll put a class together. I can show you your steps, give you an outline, Bruno. Bruno, move. You can do it. Do it. You got it, Bruno. Get up, Bruno. <laughs> you got it. Get up, Bruno. This is a rotary cutter. If you don't know what this is, you could get it from Walmart. To me, it's easier than using scissors. You see where we at right here? Wait a minute, let me put my puppy in front of my water. Come on. One second. Okay, one second, you guys. I had to get my water. I tried to put my puppy back in his spot where he was. Back up right now. Oh, and you guys, I have the fabric folded. So it's folded down here, so it makes it longer. So I don't got to lay it completely out. You got it. Do it, baby. Go. Go, Bruno. So see, you see it? So look. This is really, really long. But because I folded it, I didn't have to lay the fabric completely out. But when you do it like that, you got to be careful because if it, your fabric moves, spandex moves anyway. So if your fabric moves and you make one mistake on the top, it's going to be on the bottom too. And if you go ahead and cut the ends of your fabric off before you do it, you won't have to do it like this. But because, like I said, this is like 10 yards, you guys, look. Look at all of this wrapped up. Look. You see how much white this is? It would have took me forever to do that. So I have to do it like this. So, if you have any questions, comment below. If you don't trim your stuff, then it's totally fine. This video wouldn't be helpful. But if you do trim it, then I know this video will be helpful for you. If you don't already know how to make trim. If you need help with just trimming, I do trimming classes. Anything that has anything to do with this business. I will put a class together for you. That way you don't have a class that is framed only to do something you already know how to do. So 
let me show you how to ruler. Let me show you how to ruler, how to work with the ruler. Okay, let's say this is our second box, right? This ruler you can get at Walmart too. Let's say this is our box or you don't got a steady hand, hypothetical, right? We put it right there. You see it? So now when we put it right there, we just use our blade and we go along the side of it. Look. I need to change my blade. When it's not going straight through, it means your blade needs to be changed on your rotary cutter. This one definitely needs to be changed. I've been lazy. I gotta go buy some. I hate buying them because I got a vendor that gives it to me so cheap that I hate going to the store paying retail. Because my vendor gives me one of these and five refills for $10. If you go to Walmart, you're paying $10 just for this. That's why it's good to have vendors. Definitely for stuff that is a necessity to your business. If you know you're going to need it to make money, it doesn't make sense to buy it retail. You're only cutting into your profit. It's always good to make one investment on a vendor because you're going to use it forever. And then you can always resell that vendor to anybody that asks you where you get your product from. So that's how we use the ruler. Or we can do it the opposite way. It might work better the opposite way. I don't know. I don't use the ruler. I guess not putting it real close up to the the ruler works better. You see how I just put it on the side? Yeah, I think that part works better. Because I guess with it up against the ruler, it was moving it out the way. But it's really not hard. If you line your fabric up on the line on the board, it's really not hard. Just make sure it's evened out on top and bottom. Because like I said, the same way you cut on the top is going to be on the bottom. You can put weights or something on it. Anything heavy to make it not move. And then you just keep straight. And it's okay if it don't be straight. No. Nobody's going to be like, oh, your trim was a little off. So don't be a perfectionist. Because guess what? Let me tell you the, what I use. My logic. Apple is imperfect. Android is imperfect. Right? But y'all paid over $1,000 for those phones. Right? And how many times y'all updated? We all learn as we go. We learn as we go. But y'all still bought that product. So why can't y'all sell y'all product? Does that make sense? Why can't we get no money and learn as we go? The market and the consumers are teach us. We talk about what we don't like. And Apple come through and fix it, right? Same thing with your business. We update it as we go. It don't have to be perfect to start. Just start.
So look how much trim we got already. That can trim at least, at least 10 outfits. Does that make sense? So I don't want to use the whole video up with just trim because then it'll be a boring video. But I hope you guys understood um, what I was trying to deliver on the video. Um, like I said, comment below the things that y'all might want to see from this channel and y'all expecting. If you have not already um, followed us on our other platforms, we are very active on Instagram every single day. We have deals every single day on Instagram. Um, we have a private Facebook group that you can come in and you can learn from other people and you can also sell your products. It's under Hidden Agenda Sewing Family. We're on TikTok under Hidden Agenda Brand. Instagram, Hidden Agenda Brand. Um, Facebook, you can like our Facebook under Hidden Agenda Brand. And if you need anything, just comment below. I'll leave my number below. If you need absolutely anything, if you, like I said, if you knew, I have so much that I can offer you. If you're an expert, I still have things because we never stop learning. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and just comment if it was helpful. Or if it wasn't, please don't comment no negative thing because all I do is block and delete. I do absolutely zero negative and I want our community to be all positive. So I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks again for watching.